So what we are doing today is the motion of falling particles. A particle will fall or a particle will be thrown upward. That is the case. Now these three equations we saw it in rectilinear motion. Rect okay, I am writing the word again. Rectilinear. Rectilinear means one way simply one way. Oh no, sorry, not one way actually. It can be both way, but linear, linear direction, either going this way or that way. That is rectilinear motion. It's not one way actually, it's in a linear line. So we saw this equation. Now you can see that this equation is in the surface. This equation in the surface and for falling particle, again, it is, it is rectilinear motion, but it is in the space, upward or downward. What is the change? The change will be, uh, we know that there is gravity. There is gravity and we know the gravitational acceleration. That is, we call G. We know this term, G. Gravitational acceleration. Whatever the mass of an object, if we multiply by G, we get the weight. So this is weight, say, Newton, mass, say, kilogram. And G is 9.8 on meter per second square. And if we do in, <coughs> in FPS unit, uh, W equals mg, W is in pound, m is in slug, g is 32.2 pound per second square. So that is the meaning of g. g is a gravitational constant or gravitational acceleration. Uh, if we multiply it, we will get mass to weight. That is g. And what is the value of G? In SI unit, 9.8 on. In FPS unit or US unit, 32.2. Uh, it's a round number. It's not exactly 32.2. 32.18 something. For this, this case, 9.80 something. Again, this value changes with time, with, with the distance, sorry, with the location in this world. That is a different story, we are not going there. So this G always acts downward, always. We cannot change it. It always acts downward. That is something key point. So in this equation, what the change will be? This A will be replaced by Z. That's it, nothing else. This 3A will be changed by Z. If we write a G, then our equation will not change. Now, something we change intentionally. What is that? Say S. S is a, dis a displacement in the surface. And vertically, we try to say height. So, sometimes we write S. Or sometimes we write Y. This is okay. Even uh, something else. Oh, this A uh, S also. We try to, sometimes we write S or uh, why? Why? Because it is vertical displacement and A is or um, S means height, Y means distance in Y direction. It makes better sense. But if we use S, it is okay. Okay, so what did you learn? Just same equation, replace A by Z. You can replace uh, S by A is or Y, that doesn't matter, but if you change it, good. Something else to know that uh, a, Z is always downward. G is always down, downward. So if you throw something upward, if you throw something upward, that means your initial velocity is upward. But G will be downward. In that case, G will be negative. That is something to keep on. You need to uh, keep an eye on the direction and the sign. But G always downward. If we assume downward positive, then G positive. If we assume um, upward positive, then Z negative. That is the key point. Okay, if I open an example, but here, oh, if I want to just uh, extend more, okay, hopefully you wrote it down. Extend more, what is that? If I throw a particle vertically upward, its speed will, okay, hopefully you are done here. So if you throw something from the ground or surface, say we are throwing something at a very high velocity, V0, this velocity at a big, 
oh i should not this it this velocity is very high then it will decrease then it will decrease then it will decrease then will be zero then after when it will come back velocity will increase so that is the scenario so when you will throw a particle vertically upward its vertical velocity will decrease with time at the top at the peak peak velocity is zero so in the peak velocity is zero when you will come back at the same <coughs> when it will come back at the uh, same elevation velocity will be same but different direction yeah we have this uh, common sense we saw it many times in our life also something else see if i throw a particle from top of a building from this corner if you throw a particle vertically up what it will be to go up then it will come back to here the question is what is that displacement displacement is only this this portion is no longer displacement why because this side it is going up this side it is going going down so it will cancel each other displacement is a vector quantity so it will cancel my effective effective vertical displacement is this that is something key point but again if you do not want to understand no problem your equation will give it automatically so we will see some example now okay hopefully you can see my uh, screen whatever the initial discussion <coughs> i already did it but here it is sign is very very uh, important okay i'm not showing the answer the question is a ball is thrown vertically upward from the top of a building with velocity of 5 meter per second reaches the ground after 15 seconds calculate the height of the building and for a mechanical mechanics problem always try to drive a figure or in case something that helps oh i do not need need to i can use this one question is given here and that the velocity when it is thrown it was 5 meter per second and it came back after 15 second 15 second that means from starting to end starting to end my time is 15 second what is the vertical uh, displacement or uh, question is what is the height of the building so if you, you can see the uh, if i use this equation say a is equals b naught what was the equation b naught t plus half g t square this is the equation why this is the equation the reason is uh, b naught is given t is given z is always known t is given so this equation will give us an answer now something else direction this equation is raw equation and uh, when i throw it upward if i consider upward is positive then g will be negative that is the key <coughs> now if we use the equation this equation will automatically discard this proportion because it's going up positive down this portion will be cancelled out my a's will be here to here if you do not want to understand just use the equation with proper sign then automatically that will give you the answer so what is my v naught 5 meter per second what is time 15 seconds half what is z minus 9.8 or that is the key minus sign and then t is 15 second square whatever you will get that will be the answer so hopefully you understood how to solve it if you follow the proper sign then you do not need to worry about the uh, which part is cancelling or no you just get the uh, displacement okay let me see the solution whether i did right or wrong oh my cursor 
for EPEG go down. Go down. Well, in this case, what I did, I assumed the opposite side, opposite uh, sign, upward negative, downward positive, doesn't matter. Oh, for this kind of uh, here, you might get a negative number. Why? Because we assume upward positive. Negative number means actually you are coming here to here. It doesn't matter. Do not get nervous. This sign is all about the direction. It is. This sign is not a debit. It's just a direction. So if you get a, get a negative number, do not worry. Here we got positive number because they assume uh, upward negative, downward positive. Okay, so hopefully you understood. Next problem. A balloon is ascending vertically with a velocity of 9 meter per second. Okay. And a stone is let fall down from it. If the stone reaches the ground in 10 seconds, calculate the height of the balloon when the stone is let fall. Same question actually. I do not, do not know why it is double. So what is this question from a balloon which is going up? A stone is let fall. That stone will go a little bit up and then come down to ground. So what is happening? What was the... Uh, Oh, my cards are 9, 10. That means my velocity was 9 meter per second here and time is 10 second. How to solve it? Same equation. Uh, v naught t plus half z t square. Assume a sign. Say this, this time we are assuming 9 is negative. We are assuming downward is positive. 10 seconds plus half 9.8 meter per second square 10 seconds square so hopefully understood then what will happen we will actually will get this ace that will be the our um, result this portion the uh, plus portion and negative minus portion they will cancel each other Okay, so if I hopefully you understood this, very simple. Okay, you can see the answer what we did. See, whatever I did, they, they did the same thing. And that is the end of this vertically thrown particle. Very simple, clear. Now, so if I go at the end of this chapter, You can see a problem, problem 2-10. A stone is thrown vertically upward with a velocity of 4.9 meter per second. Then determine the velocity at the highest point. What is the velocity at the highest point? Velocity at the highest point is, as I told earlier, my velocity will decrease at the highest point it, or, or at the peak point it is zero. Then again come down and velocity increases. So at highest point, velocity is zero. The question is asking next question. What is the greatest height? Now, uh, I am not solving this problem. I am just telling it. Uh, as I am telling it, so the, okay, I'm, that will be your homework. Or let me solve it. I don't know. I do not want to give work to people. Even at my home, I do all the work. Instead of telling people, I can do it. It is not a good practice. I should let you practice. Okay, so I will give you start giving homework. So here, but this problem is a little different. Uh, thrown. So so particle is going 4.9 meter per second up. What is the velocity at the highest point? Highest point velocity is zero. We know it. We do not need to do any calculation because particle will go up, stop here and then come down the greatest height what is the greatest height so if you just consider this portion what is the greatest height we know say this is ace now if we use that now which equation to use if i know this equation this other equation is v naught 
and my time is not given so we should not use the equation which has time b square minus 2i is a h so this is this equation will not win the other equation we just used this equation will not win because it has a time this one will win how i am assuming upward positive so z my uh, z is downward downward okay, right hand sign here z downward negative so at highest point my velocity is zero initial velocity is 4.9 minus 2 i is 9.81 then a is this a is with this a is why because i just considered this portion this portion so hopefully you, you learned how to solve it so in your homework uh, solve uh, find a's find a's i just did the calculation you will finish it next part what is the time of flight time of flight means it will go up and come down how to find it if we just oh something whatever time it takes to go up it takes the same time to come down so if you find only one side you will get the answer one side then uh, multiply by two so let us how to find what is the time here in this proportion how to find it which equation has time the first equation i uh, oh, this one the second equation here how v minus so i am assuming upward positive so upward positive so v equals v naught minus z t so v was initial 4.9 oh v is 0 because it will stop then 4.9 minus 9.8 on time then you can find your time time will be 0.5 second this time is only to go up then same time will be required to come down double done so hopefully you understood this uh, problem uh, if i summarize what is the velocity at the highest point zero what is the time of flight whatever time to go that is the time to come down so i found just to go here then come down same amount of time so total time of flight double of this how to find the greatest height i applied this equation in this portion only okay so in your homework at uh, uh, solve this uh, i already solved 90 percent the rest 10 percent you solve by uh, yourself that will be your practice okay then